Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Before I even bother saying anything else, I just have to alert you guys. As of the time of me uh, recording and making today's video, we are currently about 50 subscribers away from 5,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Get down there, hit the subscribe button. Seriously, it would mean the world to me. But onwards with the video. Today, since the season two trailer for Dragons Rising has been revealed, I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at it, discuss my thoughts on it, and just go over everything. I don't really have any sort of script at all for today's video. And yes, I'm aware, I seem to say that every single video, but especially today, I really don't have a script. I'm just going off the dome with all of this. I just want to take a brief look at what the trailer has uh, presented us with and just talk about it. Starting off with Lloyd, I think there was a lot to take in with Lloyd. And there was also like a really, really fast paced part of the actual trailer. I'll put an image up on screen now of something that really stuck out to me. I first saw this within my Discord server, which you should all go and join by the way. And uh, yeah, it's really easy to miss because it just takes forever to actually pause at this point because of how fast everything was moving. And Lloyd seemed to be surrounded by these like angelic dragon attacks type people and we also heard one of them talking or at least I'm going to assume it was one of these people talking and there's we shall start him on the path but the journey has to be his own. A lot of debate in the community as to what they are. I believe that there is actually some sort of leak out there that would suggest we're going to be getting physical molds for these beings in the summer wave. So that's definitely going to be really interesting. I personally don't know much about that. I haven't been keeping up to date with the leaks. So for now, I'm just going to assume that they're like souls of the source dragons or something like that. Because in this image we see now, they kind of look like dragons and they kind of look like angel human type people. We don't really know, but I've just thought that was really interesting and once again Lloyd and his visions and all of this source dragon stuff it's all coming together really really nicely and I don't know I just find it great another thing I want to talk about is something that we've spoken about a lot in the past so I just want to get it out of the way now Lord Raz in this trailer he had a lot to say I suppose over the top of everything else that was happening we saw a few extra clips of him and Jordana in the uh, temple and uh, yeah that's kind of cool we're not getting too much new stuff surrounding Raz and considering this season is going to have 20 damn episodes it's kind of cool that they are only showing us like one or two scenes of Raz and Jordana that really puts into perspective. We have like seen nothing yet when it comes to Raz and what he's truly going to be up to. So I definitely do find that really, really cool. Speaking of bad guys though, Cinder in this trailer was so awesome. A lot of people have been saying that he did more damage than the Overlord or the Crystal King managed to do in Crystallized. And I just think that's amazing. It's also even funnier when you consider that we've seen Cinder beat up the ninja in like five seconds of screen time, I guess. It just says a lot about the difference between uh, the Wild Brain era and Dragons Rising. It's literally like night and day, and I just find that so funny. Also, the latter half of the trailer was pretty much focused around Cinder. We'd go from Cinder beating up a different ninja to, I don't know, Lord Raz and Jordana in the temple, and then it would cut straight back to Cinder beating up another ninja, and it was kind of like a rinse repeat, and I just thought that was kind of a hilarious layout to have going on within this trailer. I don't know, I just find that really funny. And it's definitely clear to me that Cinder is going to be a new character that is like a beloved fan favorite character. I'm almost getting like Benthomar vibes from him in the sense that the community has reacted to him in the same way. Not saying that Cinder and Benthomar are similar characters in the show, like in actual context, of course not, but in the way that the fans have been reacting to them, things are definitely quite similar. And I also have a feeling there's going to be a pretty big subsection of fans out there that are like, man, Cinder is so goddamn underrated. Like, I just know for a fact that is going to happen. Aaron is also very very interesting in this uh, trailer. He's been having a lot of self-doubt from what we can see. So I'm hoping that that's going to be some sort of crazy arc going on for him in the next season. I absolutely love Aaron and it's kind of a bit of a shame we didn't get more um, focus on him within season one, but I totally understand why they did that at the same time. Obviously, they just wanted to focus more on Sora and Aaron wasn't left out or anything, but some more focus would have been nice. But season two definitely seems to be a little bit more Aaron focused from what we can tell so far. We've had a few other clips where we've seen Aaron kind of like at the forefront and in this trailer in particular that seems to be kind of you know being the same so I'm definitely interested to see how Aaron actually plays out within this trailer those were definitely some of the main points I wanted to talk about 
the animation was spectacular and the more I think about it and the more I rewatch this particular trailer, the more I realize, man, the animation is just so, so smooth. It's just so crazy that Ninjago out of all shows has this amazing animation to it. It's probably one of the best animated kids shows out there, if not the best. And I don't even feel like I'm being biased when I say that. If I had no recollection of Ninjago and I was just forced to sit through an episode, I'd probably come to the same or at least just a similar conclusion. That's just how great it was. Overall, it was just great. The action scenes we got were amazing. And yeah, it was just great. The animation, the actual dialogue, the stuff we saw. Oh, and also Kai's Climber Mech, random side note, it looks really, really cool here, and I'm also a big fan of the set itself. So yeah, that was a nice addition to the trailer. But yeah, all things considered, this trailer was really, really great. That's really all I have to say about it. This video was really uncoordinated, kind of just wanted to get some thoughts off of my chest regarding it. And yeah, again, trailer was great. Cannot wait to see the full season, and I'm interested to see if we'll get any other additional clips our way in the near future at all. Time will tell though, I guess. But yeah, with all of this being said, that's me done for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and drop a like on it. Again, as I said at the very beginning of today's video, I am begging all of you to subscribe. We are that close to 5,000. It would mean the world to me. Turn on that notification bell as well so that you can watch my new content as soon as I do post it every few days or so. And yeah, take it easy, you guys. I will catch you all soon for a new video. So yeah, goodbye.